Suddenly the dark seems to get darker and the light seems to have diminished. The sun is a black circle in the sky and my life seems to have finished. The atmosphere is gruesome and my body begins to seethe the air heavy and thick and I can't seem to breathe. I realize as I stand before a pit of fire so deep that I've awoken elsewhere from where I chose to sleep. My ears consumed by screams of agony and despair, my eyes witnessing an ocean of nightmares and I finally speak, I don't deserve this, it's unfair. But the angel behind me responds, it was your sins that brought you here. Despite all the signs we sent down for you to be aware, you defied them and the verse in the book so clear. You didn't care about the afterlife, only worldly affairs, so don't you dare declare for your well-being and welfare. My body shivers in fear, I can't keep my hands steady. If I wasn't dead, my heart would have exploded already. I must draw up the remainder of courage and turn around swiftly as I speak to the angel of punishment directly. And I say, but I thought I would wake up to gardens, rich with verdancy, roses the color of burgundy with a feeling of fervency. So please do me the courtesy and explain this absurdity. I don't want to abide by this fire for all eternity. And the angel responds in a deafening tone, his voice capable of shattering every single bone. He says, oh, son of Adam, you were given opportunities. But your actions reflected lunacy. You committed mutiny. And then you walked the earth prudently as if you acquired immunity from the fire, presumably, but didn't realize your truancy. And I begin to wail at the top of my lungs. Please explain to me exactly what it is I have done. Why has my reckoning begun under this black sun when I believed in the being that created everyone? And the angel responds with a threatening roar, very fearsome and powerful, much like before. He says, oh, son of Adam, you were given wealth, but you never gave to charity. Given speech but polluted it with profanity, given love but disrespected your family and spewed hypocrisy and pathetic fallacies. You were told to use kindness to treat one another, yet you never even smiled at your fellow brother. You questioned why you were cast into this eternal blaze when you felt lost, did you ever even lower your gaze? You abused the fact that we gave you eyes. Your tongue tainted with nothing but lies and your ears were deaf to the sound of cries all over the world, you didn't even sympathize. And when conflict arose and it all got intense, you let it get worse, you sat on the fence. You were sent down with faith so you could be humanity's defense, yet you stood back and watched oppression commence. Oh, and were you not appointed with five appointments a day? You called yourself a Muslim, but you never even prayed. The prayers which are there to keep you from going astray, yet now you sit here for eternity with this fire as your stay. At this point, every cell in my body begins panicking like never before, yet I'm paralyzed like panicking stuck to the floor. I need to escape this fate, I can't take anymore, but the darkness shrouds every window and door. Why did I treat my religion like it was a chore, something I abhorred, instead it was sin that I adored. I chose God as my enemy in this unwinnable war, and it brought me here, to hear this pit of fire roar. But still, I attempt to plea. It was Satan, the one that tempted me. He was the one that misled me deceptively. I tried to follow the rules attentively, so why has my Lord not then exempted me? And the angel cast me a most disapproving look. He stops reading out my sins and shuts his book. As he turns to me and puts the book back on its shelf, a voice from the distance says, Oh, but Mr. Angel, I can speak for myself. And every syllable slithers out of Satan's mouth like a snake. As he says, Why do you blame me for your mistakes? You see, I did promise you truth, but my truth was distorted. If you had followed your Lord, then my plans would have been thwarted. I called you to sin, but you, but you allowed it to begin. You allowed my essence to get under your skin. Every single, th every single one of my whispers, indeed, they were replied to. You allowed this evil to seep inside you. The funny thing is you were sent the verses to guide you, yet now you sit here to burn with me beside you. I realize now, I have no evidence against the devil. I am completely cheated. Every strength in my body is gone. It's, I, feel, I feel utterly defeated. I take one final look at the sun that emits no light. The angels around me sharpening their scythes. I see Satan smile as he succeeds with his schemes as it seems I'm about to join this choir of painful screams. Assalamu alaikum.